Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for clicking on the Tuesday afternoon weather webcast for May 20th, 2014. I'm meteorologist Nate Harrington. Another warm day in the Wiregrass and starting to heat up in other parts of the country as well. Big ridge of high pressure in the midsection of the country at the surface and also in the mid-levels of the atmosphere are squashing any sort of rain around here and in the in the Midwest and also leading to some very warm temperatures. We'll take a look at that in just a second, but another very clear morning to start off with. Uh, a few areas of fog, but not a whole lot, and then a lot of sunshine, some white puffy cumulus clouds starting to pivot on in from the east, and a lot of uh, sunshine for the rest of us. So not a whole lot uh, going on today, more summertime weather headed our way, temperatures in the middle 80s right now, 81 in Blakely is one of the cool spots, 81 in Destin as well, and 90 out in Andalusia, their thermometer, like we said, always runs a little bit on the warm side, so we'll call that middle 80s for them as well, but 87 up in Abbeville, 85 in Troy and 86 in Enterprise in Geneva. And you see the dew point starting to creep up just a little bit. Now, folks, starting to get into the 60s as far as the dew points go. You might be asking, what in the world are dew points? Well, that's the measure of how much moisture is in the air. Anything over 60 degrees, and dew point is a temperature measurement. So anything over 60 degrees for a dew point starts to get into that uncomfortable range. And 70, that's the kind of dew points that we see in the middle of summer where it's so hot and so oppressively humid that starts to get really uncomfortable. And that's what we got along the beaches as a little sea breeze has developed down there. But anything close to 60, you start to start to sweat a little bit. And we've got light and variable winds for most inland, but a pretty steady sea breeze in Panama City and in Destin. And that's why they're a lot more, a uh, little cooler and a lot more humid than the rest of us inland this afternoon. So around the Gulf Coast, we're all clear. Just a few high clouds off to our west and some cloudiness to our east and the puffy white cumulus clouds, the fair weather cumulus that we have around here. Other than that, smooth sailing. All the action once again in the northern stream, the northern half of the country, seeing the rainfall, more rain pivoting out of the Great Lakes region into Canada, and some uh, showers setting up along uh, a line from, oh, say, California, a little low pressure system spinning there from California into Idaho, Nevada, uh, Utah, also into the Dakotas and Nebraska. There is a severe weather risk there today, but uh, not much materializing there. And an upper-level low starting to spin on off the northeast coast of the U.S. We basically told you yesterday that it's going to be hot in the Midwest. This is what we said at the beginning of the webcast. And here's that big ridge of high pressure. And that's, that's where the ridge is. Big old H. Basically, this means dry, hot, and uh, not a lot of weather coming our way. That big uh, trough in the west... Uh, has led to some cooler numbers out there. 71 in Denver, 76 Santa Fe, and 49 degrees in the higher elevations at Yellowstone. But look at Chicago at 83 degrees, almost as warm in Chicago as it is down here in Dothan. And watch the numbers in the Midwest, especially 94 in Amarillo already, Kansas City at 86, and there's a little sliver right here of pink. That is 100 degree numbers in parts of Texas and Oklahoma and getting into Kansas as well. So, more heat, more humidity on the way for the entire Midwest and Southeast. This is going to be a very oppressive stretch for us. Here's the future cast. A few clouds around for tonight. Nothing doing as far as rainfall goes. A few areas of fog tomorrow morning. And more sunshine for tomorrow afternoon going through noontime. Temperatures for tomorrow morning in the lower and mid-60s. I think lower 60s more so than the mid-60s for tomorrow morning. And then right back into the middle 80s and upper 80s. I'm thinking by 2 o'clock we'll be right where we are today. Maybe a few degrees warmer but more upper 80s tomorrow afternoon, 88, 89 degrees, most likely for an afternoon high temperature. And by Thursday and Friday, I think those first numbers in the highs will start with 9 instead of 8. So more 90-degree uh, weather headed our way. We'll talk more about the uh, forecast, the five-day coming up uh, tonight on News 4 at 5, 6, and 10. But for right now, we'll say goodbye for the afternoon weather webcast, and we'll see you tomorrow.